Hi, I'm Leo Rodriguez. And I'm Owen White. And we're here today with NASA News. For this uh, week announcement, we have community service opportunities for CC Organic Farm in Brewster, Harvest for Food Pantries. The contact number is 508-235-8684. Unfied uh, Theater, this Friday for an hour after school in the auditorium. Work with uh, disabled adults to put uh, on production for a lifetime. Earn your community service time. Feel good about helping others. Thank you, Leo. Today I have NASA News lineup. We have the top story with Clara Capello, the high five student of the week, Avery Santoro, with Carter Rockovich, sports with Jeremiah Pranga, and Cameron Beer, things to do with Rocco Colucci and James Shaw, talent search with Lucas Meehan, health tip with Chris Santos, student council with Colby Martin, college notebook with Jasper Trees, and finally, around the world with Max Lang. Hi, I'm Claire Capello with this week's top story. The story of the week is about the end of first quarter. I will be asking students how they think they did and what they liked. Hi, I'm here with Sunny Green. What grade are you in? Junior. Did you enjoy this week's first quarter? Yes. What was your favorite class? Jen. Your hardest? Mm, probably Spanish. And what was your easiest? History. Do you think you did good this year? No. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with... Chloe Martin. What grade are you in? I'm a freshman. Did you enjoy this year's first quarter? Yes, I did. What was your favorite class? Graphic design. Your hardest? Um, math. And what was your easiest? My easiest? Fun graphic design. Do you think you did good this year and maybe got an honor roll? Probably not, but you still did well. Hi, I'm here okay. with Ava. What grade are you in? I'm a junior. Did you enjoy this year's first quarter? That's good. What was your favorite class? Probably AP Psych. What was your hardest? AP Psych. <laughs> and your easiest? Um, math. <laughs> Do you think you did good in your classes? I did all right. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with Kylie. What grade are you in? I'm a sophomore. Did you enjoy this year's first quarter? I did. It was a little tough, but I got through it. <laughs> That's good. What was your favorite class this quarter? Um, my ASL class. It was absolutely my favorite. And what was your hardest? Definitely English. English is always my worst subject. And your easiest? Um, all of my classes are challenging, but I have to say biology. Do you think you did good in your classes this year? Um, I was going good for a while, and then I got piled on with homework and more and more and projects on top of projects, and then my grade plummeted. But I'm hoping to get that back up before the end of the term. Okay. Well, thank you. Hi, I'm here with Sophie Coelho. What grade are you in? Ninth. Did you enjoy this year's first quarter? Nope. What was your favorite class? Clay. What was your hardest class? Orange geometry. And your easiest? Uh, intro to physics. Do you think you did good this class? Yes. Hi, I'm here with Nolan. What grade are you in? Uh, I'm a senior. Did you enjoy this year's first quarter? Yeah. What was your easiest class? Uh, probably English. Your hardest? Science. And what was your favorite? Science. Do you think you did good in your classes this quarter? More or less. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hi, I'm here with... Carter Rockovich. What grade are you in? I'm in ninth. Did you enjoy this year's first quarter? I did. What was your favorite class? Uh. Probably intro to video technology. Your hardest? Science. Your easiest? Mm, probably gym. Do you think you did good in your classes this term? I think I did decent. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm here with Juliana. What grade are you in? I'm a senior. Did you enjoy this year's first quarter? Um, yeah, I really liked it. The school's so pretty. I just went from Boston, so I really like it. What was your favorite class? Um, I think my favorite class was college writing. It really helps me like, get ready for college and also the applications and everything. And that's my favorite. What was your hardest? Um, definitely pre-cal. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't take algebra two, so it was like all of that. And yeah, it was my great. But I'm getting tutoring. I'm getting extra help, so that's hopefully, it'll end up good. What was your easiest? Um, 
college writing because it's my favorite, so I actually enjoy like writing and it's pretty easy. Do you think you did good in your classes this morning? Overall, yes, but pre-calc again, I'm struggling mm -hmm. with, but hopefully I can get that up in the next week and yeah, I'm okay. very great geography too. Yeah. Well, thank you for this. No problem. Hi, I am here with Ella Stanley. What grade are you in? I'm a freshman. Did you enjoy this year's first quarter? I did. What was your favorite class? I liked English and gym. Your hardest class? Definitely algebra. And what was your easiest? Probably English. Do you think you did good in your classes this quarter? For the most part. Thank you. I'm here with Leo Rodriguez. What grade are you in? Uh, I'm a senior. Did you enjoy this year's first quarter? Yes, I did. What was your hardest class? Uh, probably creative writing. What was your easiest class? Um, gym class. What was your favorite class this quarter? Uh, probably robotics. Do you yeah, think really. you did good in many hours? Yeah, I pretty, pretty much got better grades than last year, so I, I did better than you last year. Thank you. I'm Claire Capello, and this was Top Story. Hello, my name is James Shaw. And I'm Rocco Colucci. And this is Things to Do. Today I will be talking about three movies you can watch this week. Free, Free Solo, Halloween, and Hunter Killer. The first movie, Free Solo, is a documentary about climber Alex Honnold climbing Yosemite's 3,200-foot mountain El Captain without any safety gear. This movie will take your breath away, according to Cape Cod Times, and the movie is weighted... Uh, PG-13. Free so Solo is doing very well in theaters with a 99 on Rotten Tomatoes, so I definitely suggest you watch it. The next movie we will be talking about is the R-rated film Halloween. This movie is not a remake, but instead a follow-up to the original 1978 film. The movie is a mix between horror and humor, and has scored a 79% on Rotten Tomato. Rafford Guzman even calls it a solid addition to the Deathless Horror franchise. Finally, the last movie I will be reviewing today is an R-rated action thriller, Hunter Killer. It is, about, it is about a submarine captain who attempts to save a kidnapped Russian president. Although it has a 36 in critic reviews, 85% of the audience liked it, with critic Adam Gray, Graham even calling it a thrill ride. And if you're looking for some activities to do, why not check out the Friday Fish Fry, which is, as always, from 5.30 to 7 p.m. on Friday at the Orleans Eastham Elks Lodge which is at 10 McCoy Road in Eastham. Or perhaps, if you're a fan of pirates, why not check out the MBL Falmouth Forum, which has a presentation called Black Flags, Blue Waters, presented by author Eric J. Nolan, going from 7.30 to 9 p.m. this Friday at the Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole. It's a bit of a ways away, but it's worth the drive. And if you're a fan of farmer's markets, which always have farm fresh food and interesting trinkets, why not go to the Provincetown Farmer's Market, which is from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday, on the commercial and rider streets in Provincetown. I'm Rocco Colucci. I'm James Shaw. And that was Things to Do. My name is Lucas Meehan, and I am here with Jasper and Therese with our talent search. Today is a time that we have not covered yet on Nasset News. It is called Unicycle. Jasper learned how to unicycle in third grade with his fellow Brewster classmates. They learned during their gym class with Mr. Muller. Uh, Jasper, was it easy to learn how to unicycle? Well, it took a while. It took, a, for, it took me about half a year to learn. And, um, yeah. Do you have any other friends that can use it? Basically anyone that went to my Bruce Elementary School. Can you do any neat tricks? I can do, I can idle, I can kind of go backwards, bunny hop, and that's about it. Do you plan on using a unicycle in the future? Um, not sure yet, I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's probably going to stay with me for my time.
Hello, I'm your reporter, Max Lang, and I'll pre be presenting our Around the World segment, in which we compile several interesting occurrences from the international community. First, researchers in China have, have developed an artificial moon to light the streets of Chengdu. That'll save an equivalent of $173 million in energy costs every year. Um, in the West, British scientists have managed to get the center of a nuclear reactor to 59 million degrees Celsius. Wait, no, Fahrenheit. Uh, that should pave the way to, to limitless clean energy, supposedly. But knowing the nature of nuclear heating, it still can't properly heat a bowl of soup. Lastly, on a more somber note, uh, Venice is being flooded out with, with water level, levels at their highest since 2008. This has been Max Lang with Around the World. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jeremiah Panga. And I'm Cameron Beer, and this is Nauset Sports. The Nauset football team fell to a strong Plymouth North 26-14. to 14. The Warriors scored their points because Bobby Joy and Henry Brian Chard. Joy returned the kickoff while Brian Chard caught a touchdown pass from Joy. The boys cross country team got second in the ACL championships. Five of the boys on the cross country team were chosen as all stars, including Max Christopher, Aiden Dill, Jeremiah Pranga, Finn Riley, and Jake Pearl. The top boys will be moving on to divisionals on Saturday at Wrentham, Massachusetts. Good luck, boys. The NASA girls cross country team is looking t for a head-turning performance at the upcoming Eastern Massachusetts State sectionals on November 10th. After the clinching the ACL championships meet last week, the girls are prime and ready to go again. The competition will be fierce as the 2017 Eastern Massachusetts Championship meet Westwood is pulling to win again. Last year, Nauset was second. Westwood was one of the top runners in the state, but Nauset has depth and is looking for Rachel Pranga to keep Westwood Sarah Connett in sight while the foursome of Abby Farrell, Ella Kelly, Izzy Nobley, and Hannah Bernal go after Westwood's two to five runners. If Nauset places in the top four at East Ham, Massachusetts, they automatically qualify to go to All-State meet in Northfield November 17th. Good luck, girls cross country. The Nauset boys soccer beat Milton 3-0 Sunday night, November 4th at home in the Divisional II state tournament. Avery Santoro, Ben LeBranch, and Spencer Rushnak each scored one goal apiece. Nauset is the number one seed for the tournament, but is focusing one game at a time. The expectations are high for NASA as they are now 19-0 and, and have a high rankings in the USA Today High School Sports Poll. They play Hopkinton this week, and those results will be on the next week's show. The girls soccer team fell in the first round of the state tournament to Notre Dame 2-0 to zero in Hingham, November 4th. Despite their loss, the girls had a great season and are commended for making the tournament this year. NASA golf team finished his season last week with a great performance on, at the All-State Tournament in Marshfield. The boys placed fourth as a team while Miles Walther placed second as an individual. Leading up to the state tournament, NASA had a superb season with a 16-1 record. In addition, they won the tournament NASA, they won the ACL League meet at the Easton Country Club. Will Campbell was the individual winner on the day. According to coach Brian Hicks, it was a great season, and the future looks bright as we have many returning starters, including Will Campbell as our number one. Hi, I'm Carter Rokovich, and this is High Five Student of the Week. I'm here with Avery Zantora, who was recently the top goal scorer in the last game in the ACL Championship. Tell me, how did it feel to score the first goal? Uh, I felt really good. Um, score our first goal to get our team, get our team going. Uh, we definitely needed the, the boost, and then from there we just kept going. How many goals did you score this season? Uh, right now I have 19. What position did you play and did you like it? Uh, I played a uh, striker this year, uh, sometimes outside of wing. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, one of my favorite positions on the field. What was the best part of this year's season? Um, probably the best part of the season was 
Uh, beating New Bedford twice, going to their place, always a tough game, beating them 2-0. And then for them coming back here, and we dominated them 5-0 win. So that was uh, probably the best part about the season so far. What are your plans after high school? Um, I'm gonna, my goal is to play college soccer. Um, so hopefully all goes as planned, and that's, a, that's the main goal. Switching gears, what is your favorite class? Favorite class? Um, let's see. I'll probably go with uh, math. Math right now. What's your best subject? I think uh, I'll have to go with English. English for that one. Well, thanks, Avery. I'm Carter Rothovich, and this has been High Five Student of the Week. Thank you. Hello, I'm Jasper Treese, and welcome to this week's College Notebook on Nauset News. This week, we will be talking about Bridgewater State University. Located in Bridgewater, Massachusetts, less than 30 miles from Boston and 35 from Providence, Bridgewater's campus pro provides a, a safe, supportive culture for undergraduate and graduate students. With an amazing range of undergraduate and graduate programs, Bridgewater offers excellent educational opportunities and flexibility for all students. B BSU has a diverse array of academic programs to pick from. With more than 90 areas to study, you can explore what interests you the most. One of the most interesting departments at BSU is the Department of Aviation Science. The, their FAA International internationally accredited flight training program gets students in the sky early. Combining a broadly significant liberal arts education with hands-on practical training in all types of weather and over a variety of terrains. Through internships and a growing list of airline participants, per partnerships, <laughs> students gain a comprehensive understanding of the industry preparing them for careers as civilian or military pilots, flight planners, flight instructors, airport managers, flight dispatchers, or air traffic controllers. Founded in 1840, with over 11,000 students, 95 clubs, and organizations, BSU is a great school for anyone who wants a great education and extraordinary future. Thanks for watching. I'm Jasper Treese, and this is College Notebook. Hello, I'm Isabel Morrell here with this week's Student Council Report. First off, the Council really appreciates all of the feedback the students gave, so thank you to everyone who filled out the survey. The Council has taken a much needed break after the homecoming week chaos, but will continue their weekly meetings every Wednesday from 4 to 5 in N204. The Council is currently planning Faculty Friday for the month of November. The date is to be determined. Looking ahead, the Council will be participating in Toys for Tots, collecting toy donations. I'm Isabel Morrell, thank you and have a great weekend. Hello, I'm Chris Santos and this is your Health Tip of the Week. This week's topic is foods for healthy skin and how they help your body. Dark chocolate is full of flavanols, which benefit skin's appearance by increasing blood flow. Flavanols also absorb ultraviolet radiation, which protects your skin from cancerous skin cells. Any food with high amounts of vitamin A help damage tissue. Antioxidant-rich foods such as blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, plums, and pecans also protect your skin cells as well as improve skin cell health overall. Salmon, flaxseed, and both high in, are both high in omega-3 fatty acids, which assist skin's elasticity and strength. Another food in preventing skin cell damage would be good old H2O. Water flushes toxins out of the body and can cause skin breakouts. That can cause skin breakouts. Using water to prevent dehydration also prevents your skin cells from drying out and dying. Another thing that's good for your skin is washing your face with a washcloth. A gentle scrubbing with a soft washcloth once a day will help your skin smooth will help your skin be smooth and clean and always use a clean washcloth before cleaning your skin. Changing your pillowcase once a week can also help your skin. Changing your sheets and pillowcases once a week help by washing off the oily and dirty and dirt on the surface that can cause pore clogging if it comes in contact with your skin. One last way to make your skin smooth is to exfoliate it once or twice a week. Exfoli exfoliating your skin once or twice a week can help reduce acne and can also take out dead skin on the surface of your skin. Exfoliating every day can cause redness and dryness on the skin. I'm Chris Santos, and this was your health tip of the week. I'm Leah Baker with a special report. The NASA cheerleading team has had their best season in a while. They qualified for the state cheerleading tournament and also competed at the ACL cheer competition on November 3rd. We have, ha we have some footage taken by Kylie Shelley, a NASA News student and also a member of the cheerleading team. I hope you enjoy the footage from the ACL competition. 
Their category is called Game Day, and it is a routine that helped them qualify for states. Hi, I'm Kylie Shelley, and this is my team. Hi! We are here at Women Hanson <laughs> Regional High School for our ACL Championship, and this is our amazing coach, Denny. <laughs> Say hi, ladies. Are you guys excited? Yes. Hopefully we win. We're going to. I like your shirt. Oh, I like yours. What does it say? I don't know. I can't read upside down. Turn around. Turn around. Wait.